welcome to the second episode of Road Back to India. In this episode, I want to um, do a checkup of all my travel stuff, throw away old stuff, uh, make a list of things that I need to buy, replace things, yada yada yada. So, without further ado, welcome to my travel drawer. It's over there. And I also need to get a ladder because, hello, now you can see me again, because there's also some clothes up there. So let's just take everything out. I guess that's the best option. Just take everything out on the bed and then we'll just go through it. All right, so I got all the stuff here. And um, where should I start with? Because it's such a big pile. Uh, maybe we should just start with clothes because, oh my gosh, seriously. It's good that I'm doing this now. Seriously, I'm doing this only for the video because I usually I'm such a last minute person and I would do it like maybe the night before I leave, which is quite, how do I express this nicely? It's just dumb. So, because if you, if you, then if you need to buy something, it's too late. And of course you can buy anything anywhere in the world. Most things that you need, like you can get them in India as well. But it's just more convenient to be prepared and to replace things that you need to replace. Because some things are more convenient to buy here. Anyways, uh, let's just start with clothes. Gosh, this is just too much. I'm overwhelmed already. And it's not even that much stuff, actually. No, no, no. Yes, we're going to start with this. Just let me put all these little thingies aside. All this little junky. So let me just start off with this. Well, it's a pashmina scarf thingy. Well, it's not pashmina. It's a scarf. It's 100% polyester, which means it gets really hot in hot weather. On the other side, it's really light. Look, you can see me over here. And... It dries so incredibly fast. I can wash it by hand and it will be dry within just a few hours. That's what I really like about it. The only downside is I've worn it so many times that it's a little bit old and ragged. But I think this is still okay. What I also really like about it being warm is that it serves like a really good blanket. So yeah. I really like this thing. I'm just and I put it in a dryer, so now it's like sticking to itself. Uh, oh well, the struggle is real. Not <laughs> hashtag Western problems. Whatever. Let me roll it up. So that's covered. I like that one. A cap is super convenient. So I need. I think I still like this one. So I'm gonna take this one with me. Um, the yoga pants, oh my gosh, they are quite worn out because I've worn them so many times, but the color is still good. Let me just make a close-up for you guys. So, the color is still good. It's not, like, completely washed out or anything. So, yeah, I will still keep these, but they won't be good for much longer because I wear them a lot when I'm traveling. They're really good. They're from Mango. I love them. I paid maybe 20 euros since sale. They're amazing. Let me roll this up too. Then I got my first pair of pants and I already bought some new shirts so that's quite good. These pair of pants, I also bought them for India and I think they should be super comfy but I like the color too. But it seems like they might be see-through which is horrible. You don't want people seeing your butt. Let me just show you in a close-up. Look. It might be see-through. So I need to test these. And I'm just going to put them aside to test if you can see my bummy when I'm wearing them. So let's put this aside. Then I got two of my favorite pieces of clothing. The, I think it's called Kurta, right? All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I will be bringing these for sure. I don't want to be such a <laughs> such a scruff ball like I was the last time. I want to be a little bit more dressed up and I, I would just would like to put some BB cream or something on my face and maybe like braid my hair or anything because I look back on my vlogs and I was like, wow, I look so cracky 
looked like the biggest cracker in India. There was a reason though, because I didn't want any guys like getting the wrong idea or anything. But now that I've been there, I'm like, eh, they're okay. It's fine. So I got two of these. And then I would like to bring this one. Oh. Oops. I would like to bring this one. Um, but there's a big but. Because over here, this armhole is so big that you could see, like, you could see a bra. On the other side, I usually wear sports bras, so, eh, not that much sexiness to see. Um, a bare belly in India is totally okay, so I will just make this, uh, maybe, I really like it. Because if I'm wearing just the plain pants, it's nice to have, like, a bold shirt on top of it. What do we have here? Oh, I love this. I think this is, no, I already know. This one, this is the, the same, same, but different t-shirt. Um, I bought it in Thailand. Same, same, but different. I love it. I completely adore it. But I'm not going to bring it with me because I can already see, like, these are three shirts. I can bring a maximum of six. I'd rather tone it down to five. But the last time I noticed, it's just, no. Like, it's annoying if you're not able to do your laundry in a couple of days and it's quite warm, you need to change shirts every day. It's really not convenient. So I think I'm going to be bringing five. This one is not coming with me. I like this one. Um, yeah, This one is coming with me. I actually bought it for India. Oh, I shouldn't be turning it inside out. So let me just make a close-up for you guys. Look, this structured thingy. Black. I love it. Yeah, this one's coming with me. Let me just roll it up. And I also like the first time I brought seven shirts with me, which is really too much. I think five or six is uh, perfect for me. And then I usually within a week I can do my laundry. Let me just show you the quarters. They're so cute. They're so cute. I love them. Makes me so happy to wear them. Look. Ah. So this is the pink one and the blue one is exactly the same. And that's one super important thing. The things you are bringing with you, the clothes, you're going to wear them so often. Make sure you like them. <laughs> I'd rather spend a little bit more money on something that I really like instead of bringing my plain old clothes with me because if I'm going to wear something for three months, yeah, I better like it. So, and this blind is blue one. If you watch my old India vlogs, you might recognize them. I love them so much. I might buy more. Well, the thing is, I don't wear them in the Netherlands. It's not really appropriate. But, um, yeah, if they get worn out, I can replace them or something. Or maybe I can place some of my shirts with these things. Well, they're super, super comfy, by the way. I thought they might be really tight because the material is not stretchy at all. But no, they're so comfy, really. But the thing is, I can't do yoga in them. Even though there was a local woman at Saji's place, my old yoga teacher, who was doing yoga in a kurta. Is it a quarter? Seriously. If it isn't, then I'm just saying it wrong the whole time. So this is four. And then we have number five. This shirt. I adore it. So cute. Usually I don't bring light colors with me, but um, the pattern on this one is so, like, tiny that I think, eh, if it gets dirty, you won't see it. At least I hope so. Otherwise, I will replace it with a quarter. Yeah, let me just roll this up. All right, so I got my five shirts. That's it. I'm not bringing the banana shirt. Wow. I'm not gonna bring the banana shirt. Am I not going to bring the banana shirt? Yes, I am. I am, because I really, really love it. I love it so much, look at it. Banana shirt. And some of my best memories are in this shirt. This was my dress up shirt the first time that I went to India. But um, yeah. I'm bringing it. So the, then I have six. This one I can toss away. And this one I can toss away as well. If it just gets too much or overwhelming. And I've worn this one so often. No, I don't want to toss it away. Okay, so then I got my six shirts. That's good. 
don't need to buy any more clothes. Well, actually, I might. Um, let me think. So I'm just putting these shirts aside. Then I got this raincoat, windcoat, whatever, jacket. And it's super convenient. I used to bring a fleece vest, vest with me and wear it underneath. And then it's super warm because this thing, uh, yeah, it's windproof and it's waterproof. Super convenient. But do I need it in India? Seriously, when was it cold when I was in India? Never. And when it was cold, I just put my, my fleece vest on. Mm. This is a really tough decision, but I'm not going to take this one with me. I might be very sorry for this, because I want to go to Rajasthan, into the desert, and it gets quite cold in the desert, but yeah, I'm not bringing it with me. Tough decision, seriously, this is a tough decision. Okay, then, so I got two pairs of pants. Last time I had three and a maxi skirt. But the maxi skirt was so not convenient in India at all. Like seriously, if you're going to a beach destination, then a maxi skirt is super convenient. But in India, no, it's not convenient at all. For me at least, because like I can't do yoga in it. I can't travel in it. I just trip over my own feet. So I guess I need to buy two more yoga pants when I get to India. So I'm just going to write that down. Because they're way cheaper in India, so... That's why I'm going to buy them there. They were, last time they just cost me like 4 euros a piece. Super cheap. But that was in Kochi, by the way. Two yoga pants. Buy in India. Alright, am I done with the clothes? This was also like very convenient because I could layer it with the, with the fleece. Jacket, vest, whatever you want to call it. I think I'm going to bring this one because it's super convenient when it's a little bit colder. And I can also wear it in the heat. It's it's super comfy in the heat, even though the, the sleeves are long. I think I'm going to bring this one as well. Oh, but it, shouldn't I toss then a different a, another shirt? I don't know. But I really like this one. Okay, I'm going to put it on the... On the stack and then I'm going to decide later when I know when I have my itinerary or at least like a, you know some kind of itinerary <laughs> because things always switch and change up while you're traveling but I really really like this it's it's um the shirt is 100% cotton it's super comfy like I said like even though the sleeves are long and it looks a little bit more dressier, especially if you're in the city, it's nice to wear. So, just putting this one on the stack of clothes. I'm bringing this one for sure because, oh, lifesaver on so many travel occasions. I love the fact that, you know what? I'm gonna do a separate video about my, uh, my carry-on luggage because this is always in it, so. Let's just put that on the side too. Actually, I should make like a like that, like this. And then this is the stuff I'm bringing or I need to test. And then this is the stuff that I still need to go through. Um, this is just a little piece of jewelry. It's a super cute, tiny necklace that I want to wear. Like I said, I don't want to be a scruff ball like last time I was in India. I can wear it all the time. Also, what is this? Like wipes or something. How much is left of these? Oh, and they're completely dried out. No, I'm just going to throw this away. See, there's so much junk in, the, in all of this. So, uh, I'm definitely bringing the packing cube. So, this is the medium one. The big one, which is... Is this one double-sided? No, no, no. I think I have another one. I have another one. I should have another one. I don't. Seriously? Where's my other packing cube? Yeah. Okay, so I guess this is the medium one and this is a small one. I bought them at Ikea and it was a set of three. 
super cheap. I think it was seven euros or something. Like the Eagle Creek ones are expensive. Probably the quality is also a little bit better because I, well, I put this one in a dryer, which is not the smartest thing to do, but I was just like, meh, meh, I don't care. So the medium one, the small one, I'm just gonna put them aside because I'm definitely taking those with me. I hope the big one turns up somewhere. What do we have here? Uh, oh, this is just a trade fair badge. Oh, for sure bringing these. Well, not the big one. That's also completely unnecessary. So this is my small lock. I use it to uh, lock my backpack, my big backpack. And it has two zippers that can be closed off. And I have, yeah, I do. I do have extra, two extra small locks with me. So yeah, definitely bring those with me. So let's go through this Ziploc baggie. These are actually my backups. So some disinfectant gels and some solution for contacts, blah, blah. Let's just go through this and see if I need anything. Let me see. I got a face mask here, which I really like because sometimes my skin gets so dry and I definitely want to have this with me. One is enough because I don't use them that often. Uh, yes. For sure, sun protection, 30, good. I need to bring this with me. Disinfectant gel, need to have it on me all the time. It's, um, I didn't see it that much in India, so I'd rather have it on me and have backups of it. Let me see, I think I have another one. Yes, so I definitely will be bringing two. I think that's not enough for three months because I used like one per month. I might need to buy that one. Let me just write it down. Disinfectant. Then we have bug anti-repellent with a quite a high DEET percentage. This one is amazing. It even kept the bed bugs at bay. So yeah, definitely bringing this one. I didn't have that much trouble with mosquitoes. I slept in Bombay. Those mosquitoes were super vicious in Delhi it was quite all right even though there was like a dengue outbreak uh, but yeah definitely bringing this one hmm new razor yeah we'll be bringing that one uh, contact solution uh, yeah I need do I need a backup of this one you can buy it in almost every country um is this the one I take? Oh yeah, this is the one I take in my carry-on luggage. So I will be bringing this one in my carry-on luggage. Then we have some Tiger Balm, which is indispensable if you have bug bites because it's super, super good in calming your skin down and cooling it down when, um, yeah, when the itch gets too bad. So I definitely will be bringing this one. Then I have this mini thingy, which is 50, factor 50. Do I need to bring this one? This is for anti-ring eye contour cream. I'm sorry, but I just don't use this, so I'm not going to bring that one. Eh, where are you going? Come back. Where am I going to put this one? Something that I need. Mm. Then I have some detergent, which I honestly don't need. I hardly ever used it, so I'm just going to put it on the obsolete pile. Ooh, these are indispensable. These are the best um, earplugs. You definitely need them if you have trouble sleeping. I use them mostly in, uh, well, in planes. And when I used to sleep at hostels, but I didn't do that in India, it wasn't necessary. Nevertheless, I need to bring these because they're so good. You can buy these at um, Xenos in the Netherlands and it costs like, I think, two euros for two pair. All right, so that's this Ziploc baggie. I think I need to put it in a new Ziploc baggie because this one's a little bit worn out. It's okay. I'm gonna put this one over there. I brought some extra Ziploc baggies. Oh, this is a new one. I can put it in this one. I brought some extra Ziploc baggies last time because I thought they might be convenient, but no, I didn't need them. 
They were quite convenient when I had trouble with bed bugs in Bali, but otherwise you don't need to use them at all. And I have a very different solution for bed bugs if I ever get into that situation again, and that's cling wrap. Seriously, it sounds so silly, but I always bring this with me. It's super, super convenient for uh, closing off leaking toiletries or whatever, and just maybe packing your shoes because they're dirty or whatever. It's just like a, maybe I should like make it smaller, but I have enough space in my backpack so it just fits. And it's not heavy at all. So this is over there. Over here we have also some extras. What is in it? Let me see. Ah, this is a lucky doll I got from one of my high school friends. An extra contact thingy. What is this? Ooh, passport pictures. You need that in India. Seriously, always have some extra passport pictures with you which, because you might need them to get a SIM card or whatever. Definitely have those with you. And then, what is this? Another extra contact. And these are chopsticks, which I definitely did not need in India. They were very convenient in South Korea, in China. In China, they were super convenient for train travel because then I could just use the chopsticks, my own chopsticks to eat. But in India, no, you don't need them because I just eat with my hands. So I'm not bringing these. And then actually I can repack these into this one. Let me just put this in there nice it means you have less stuff when you can re get read back that's wasted when you're traveling for a longer period of time like seriously coco from light by coco her channel it's she's a minimalist she's my hashtag goals i hope to be able to travel one day in that minimalistic way but up until now new i'm not able to do that is this just a one day lens? I think this is just a one day. I need to, ooh, I need to buy uh, an extra contact lens. And I always have a backup contact lens with me in case something happens. So I always have two pairs with me. Uh, definitely need to buy extra. So let me just write it down. No, and I'm, I'm not gonna bring this one because I think it's a one day lens, so just tossing it out. And then I have this little pouch of extra stuff backups. This is my emergency pack. So, what's in here? It's a waterproof little pouch, and in there I have. So in this pouch, I have my regular insurance card. I don't know if I need it because I have my regular travel insurance, but it might be convenient to have on me just in case some things are covered by my regular insurance. Then I have my international certificate of vaccination. This is all the vaccines that I got. I basically got everything maybe i need to talk you through it in one separate episode because i already got everything but yeah it might be convenient to tell you what you need because basically well <laughs> what you need for india is everything i'm not joking just get everything we westerners are just yeah we need it so um let me know in the comments below if you like me to do a special episode about the vac vaccines you need in india and um, then I can talk you through it. But yeah, I'm bringing this one also in my uh, emergency pouch. Something else that I have is a copy of my old passport. I need to replace this one. So that's going on my to-do list. Copy new passport. 
spot. Should I get two? Yes, I will get two. Yes, go two times. So the last thing I have in my emergency pouch is an old smartphone that I used to use, a Blackberry. It's super useful if you just want to use it for WhatsApp or uh, calling someone or whatever. So if my iPhone gets stolen, I will be using a Blackberry. You might ask yourself, why are you bringing, bringing an extra cell phone with you? That's a good question. Do I really need it? You know what? I think for my own stress levels, it's good to have it on me because if I need to buy a new smartphone in India, like you can easily buy one, but I just want don't want to think about that. If my iPhone gets stolen and I have another like a replacement smartphone, it just for me, it gives me a better feeling and nothing got stolen last time. I don't think, oh God, I hope it doesn't happen, but it just gives me a better feeling to have an extra smartphone with me in case it does get stolen. So yeah, let me just put everything back. Also, one more thing I need in my emergency pouch is a copy of my travel insurance. I don't know what I did with it. I need to make a new copy. So I'm going to, just going to write that down too. Copy travel insurance. All right, so bringing that one with me too. Something I definitely need to downsize is my little uh, health emergency kit. Yeah, I just need to downsize this. So let's do it together. This is also a waterproof pouch. Quite convenient if, you know, things get wet. When do things get wet in my backpack? Like, it's it's very convenient to have these waterproof things if you're going to be on a boat or some kind of boat transportation or whatever. Otherwise, it does not matter because your backpack is probably waterproof. But let's just go through it. So what do we have here? Let me just take everything out. The most convenient thing I brought to India were the IRS. No, that's for taxes. The ORS, ORS solution. So the oral rehydration salts. You can just buy them in India, but I found them quite convenient to have them on me. This is the cough syrup with um, codeine. I think I need to throw this one out because it's quite old. Yeah, definitely. I got it in May last year and yeah, this one's just old. That's why I need to go through this stuff because seriously, otherwise I would just be doing this the night before I leave. So this is just some disinfectant. Is it useful to have this with me? Or should I just bring little alcohol wipes? Let me see. I think the alcohol wipes are more convenient to have. I'm going to bring just the, the alcohol wipes. I'm just going to take this one out. Why am I bringing a thermo thermometer? Thermometer. I didn't, I seriously didn't need it last time, so I'm not bringing it this time. These are some instructions on giving first aid. Honestly, I'm not good at it anyway. Like in case of an emergency, I don't definitely won't think of reading emergency instructions. I will probably just Google it, so tossing that one out. These are just some bandages. Yeah, those are quite useful to have. What is this? Panic cough. When I see medicine against cough, which is my biggest enemy while I'm traveling. I, I'm very happy to bring it with me because that's one of my main problems when I'm traveling. I get this dry cough and it's horrible. The only thing that helps is codeine. And I don't know what this is. I need to Google it. I'm repacking my emergency kit with just the, the band-aids. So regular band-aids, a little kit of band-aids. And then, see I already downsized this uh, emergency kit. Then some ORS solutions. I really like the ones from Kruidvat. So bringing two of these. Then the alcohol wipes. The Panacoff, even though I need to Google it. And some blister 
band-aids. Oh gosh, I didn't record the sound of the last one. I hope you don't mind with this sound, but um, yeah. So this is a new first aid kit and the question is, do I really need this big of a pouch? Or should I just relocate my other emergency pouch in this one? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So emergency pouch in emergency pouch. Bam! Save us some space. Coco, I know I'm not a minimalist. I'm bringing way too much stuff. I know, please don't judge me. If she ever watches this anyways. I think it's gonna be quite a long video. So the next thing, I have this suspension trainer and I brought it with me all over Asia. It's, is it heavy? It's like, it's maybe three kilos or something. It's really good if you want to do some weight training and you, of course you can't bring weights with you because it's just too heavy, but no, <laughs> I'm tossing this one out. This is just nuts. So then I have these little bits and pieces. Maybe I should take it together with, ah, this is my, um, my toiletries bag. Let's first do this one, because this is like my everything, I don't know if I'll need it. Little bag, little pouch. Let's see what's in it. What do we have here? A lot. I seriously, seriously, only use it once in an Indian train. Am I going to be doing a lot of train traveling? Because it's quite heavy and it wasn't really necessary into AC. Yeah, this is a maybe. I will think about it. Then we have the Blackberry charger. Of course, I need to bring this one. A GoPro waterproof case. Yeah, I don't need it. I need to buy a GoPro first. And I won't be doing any swimming in India. So yeah, let's toss this out. A headlamp. This was so super convenient. Definitely bringing this one. What is this? Another lock. Yeah, I am bringing this one too. So let's just put it over here. Then we have a safety whistle for sure. Yeah, definitely bringing that one. A doorstop. It, it for sure gives me a lot safer feeling than, uh, especially when I'm sleeping alone in a hotel room or whatever. So yeah. We'll be bringing this one again. Then what do we have here? A GoPro chest. Harness. No. Tossing that one out. Some duct tape. I did not use it last time. Perhaps I just need to tear a little bit off. Take it with me, but to be quite honest, I did not use it that much. It's not heavy though. It's also maybe. And this was my little pouch for the GoPro. Will I need this? No. Tossing that one out. So let me just repack this. The doorstop. The Blackberry charger. Headlamp. For sure. This one is usually my carry-on, but I will just keep it here. Ah, damn it. I also had like a small alarm, which I kept under my pillow. I think I forgot it somewhere. I need to buy a new one. I bought it at Ikea and it just gave me a so much safer feeling. So yeah, writing this one down, small alarm. All right, and then we have this small tripod. I'm going to test it with my current vlogging camera and then see if it's convenient enough to bring with me to India, but I haven't used it during any of my travels, so. Not sure if I'm going to bring it. A water ball bar for a GoPro, obviously we'll be needing that. My little water bottle, for sure bringing this one will be my carry-on. An extra lamp. I only needed it once when I was in Gilly Air, so I could give it to my brother, so tossing that one out too. And then, you need to help me with this one because I have these sunglasses and they're so super convenient because the sun sunlight can't like reach your eyes from the side and it just closes everything off when you're 
just, you know, maybe tired or whatever. I still like them, but what do you think? Are they still okay to wear or do you think they're a little bit wrong, non-fashionable or whatever? Let me know in the comments below. I won't be bringing these because they're not super comfortable. They're more fashion glasses, but no, won't be taking these with me. So let's finish with the toiletries case. Obviously, there's, like I said, there's going to be a packing episode, but this is just seeing what I need and um, yeah, there, there, there's going to be more preparation. This is just the tip of the iceberg, I promise. Because, you know, packing porn is a thing. <laughs> I, I like packing porn. So let's go through the toiletries case. What do I have here? I have a little toothbrush case. I need this in my life because those travel toothbrushes that you can, you know, you can, um, uh, how do you say that? They fold in, they fold in. I don't like those because they feel like just too cheap and I feel they don't clean my teeth. I need a regular like advanced toothbrush and therefore I'm bringing this toothbrush case. Of course I'm bringing this one again, my little foldable brush. How tiny it is. It's so cute. Then what do we have here? A pen. This one's obsolete. I have more pens. Tossing that one out. Conditioner. Yep, I'm bringing this one. I like this travel size. And then some nail polish remover wipes. I'm bringing this one too. I need to use more nail polish when I'm traveling. Then just three packets. And then we are done. Oh my gosh, look how much more space I have in this case. If I toss all those things out and then I can just repack and put everything in here and like all the extras and spares and loose parts would be in this one. That would be very convenient. Let me just put everything in there now. At least I'm saving so much space. And wait. Look at this, and there's still a little bit room left in the top. I think I'm going to toss out this one because I literally used it once, and it's it's not that heavy, but it is heavy for regular things. So this is everything I am going to definitely bring with me. I can read back the clothes already because you know I'm not going to wear them anyway. Then, this is the mini pile. Let me know about the sunglasses below. I need to test this one. These two are maybes. And then we have the pile that I threw out. I'm so proud of myself. Oh wow, look at the difference. This little neat pile instead of the chaos that you saw in the beginning. I'm so happy. Of course, this one's going to be completely full when I leave, but you'll see that in other episodes. Yeah, look how organized this looks. Weech, just slides in. I got my list of things that I still need to buy, still need to do. There's definitely gonna be more organization rounds, but I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any requests uh, for videos you wanna see in this, you know, Road Back to India series, just let me know down in the comments below. We still have a long time to go. Wow, that was such a wrap. Holy schmeckers, wow. Anyways, um, I'm leaving in September or October. Still not final on the planning. Of course, there's gonna be an episode about that too. But we have enough time in order for you to make requests and for me to make videos um, following your requests. So just feel free to let me know. If you enjoyed this video, put a thumbs up. If you didn't, put a thumbs down. If you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe because then you'll get the automatic updates and you'll never miss any episode of this Road Back to India series. Thank you so much for watching and then I'll see you next week.